So back in the year eight, some asshole caveman was trying to capture the beauty of his newborn daughter. And he's like, oh, look at this. So he, he made a camera out of a rock and a pterodactyl wing. He stapled it together with a lizard's tongue. That was the first camera ever made. To this day, nobody knows how it worked. But as we emerged from the cave wilderness, we started improving on that asshole's rock lizard camera. Eventually, they started increasing the size of the rocks. They went from micro four thirds rocks up to full rocks. And here we have it today. We have a whole host of different sizes with the dumbest name in the history of Goliath versus Santa Claus. And we're gonna find out why it happened. Panasonic, your sensor is the same size of a baby duck. Why do you do it? My first camera ever was the Canon SD 1100 IS. It was so brown and tiny, like an Eskimo baby. Is that racist or where are we leaning on that one? It was a pretty terrible camera. It only had 480p video and I just started making YouTube videos with it and eventually I wanted to upgrade to HD. It was not even the real HD, I just wanted 720p. And first of all, how are you gonna come out with HD and then later release full HD? Oh, sorry, this one's the full one. We didn't give you all of it. Sorry, I... They couldn't come up with a more creative name than full HD. At least give me a super HD or something, you loser. So anyways, my first upgrade was within the same sensor size. So while it was an upgrade, low light performance didn't really see much of a difference. The video was still grainy, everything was in focus. It just looked like a cheap piece of Kodak shit. And it wasn't really much of an upgrade until the Sony RX100 came out. That was the first time I heard of a sensor size because everybody made a big deal of it. Like they were just like one inch sensor, holy shit. And I was like, what's a sensor? I sense that I'm dumb and I need to know. So I researched and to my horror, I didn't realize I opened a floodgate pathageway. Is that a word? I climbed down a rabbit hole so deep, light dare not enter it. So when this one inch sensor camera came out, I was like, oh shit, one inch sensor. I could picture it, one inch, okay. It's about that. It made sense, it was logical. And then I looked at my camera, I looked mine up and it's like, what's mine got? A, a one over two, a half a, one over two point thirds. Half a point three. What the fuck size? What is that? What did you do? Why did you name it that? What is it? I can't even, to this day, I'm contemplating it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a half a point three inch. Is it half an inch plus point three of an inch? Or is it like one over two thirds of an inch? It only gets worse from here. We move up to the next size up. I've seen it. The Canon S120 had it. It's the one over one seventh, one one-th of a point seven sensor. One one-th. By looking at it, I don't understand it. I'm starting to see it. I don't see it. The first one, I'm starting to realize you take the one, divide it by point two thirds, and the answer is caramel. The answer is caramel. There's no logic to it, you onion-minded assholes. Why'd you do this? Why are you doing this to me? One over one seventh, one over 1.7. Oh, the measurements are right underneath. Now they realized they were assholes. And the next one, they did two thirds. It's just, I can understand that's two thirds of an inch. Here's an inch. Mm, about two thirds of an inch. So we're okay, we're moving in some sort of direction. But then what the fuck? One over 1.2. So the numbers get smaller as the sensor size grows. 
but the numbers aren't they're fractions with decimals in a logarithmic algorithm that science has yet to persuade us of I'm just saying random words now they don't even what I don't get is the one one point seven is so much smaller than the one one point two it just it doesn't seem like it should be how do you go from one over one point seven to two thirds and then back to the one over one tooth it's just fuck you then we get to the one inch it's like they, they're schizophrenic. They go from weird to normal. They're doing the half fractions and then two-thirds of an inch. Okay. Like they're playing with our mind. And then the dumbest one of them all, micro four-thirds. Micro four-fucking-thirds. Four-thirds of... It's, you can't have the higher number before the bigger one. You had the two-thirds of an inch. Four-thirds? Three-fourths, I would understand. Oh, there's four things. We have three of them. But four-thirds. Oh, we only use four of the three things. What the fuck is wrong with you, asshole? Oh, we only want four of the three. You have three choices, and you can pick four of them. Which ones do you want? Fuck you. And just for some future advice, in the name of the game where sensor size, bigger is better, you named it micro. Hey guys, ours is micro big. How did that name win the vote? It's not only illogical, it sounds smaller than it is. How did that pass the boardroom? I think I know how. Okay guys, it's our moment. Our sensor's ready. We got it, we just need to name it. It's not as big as the other ones, but it's close. Anybody got any ideas? How about we call it Tiny Two-Piece? Tiny Two-Piece? We gotta match up to full frame. We gotta sound big. Come on, Tony. Jesus Christ. Anybody else? How about Mini Two-Thirds? Jim, that's a terrible name. It sounds small. It sounds too small. We have to sound big. We are small. We have to sound bigger. Give me big names, guys. How about Mini One Eighth? Oh, God. Little Half Boy. It said twos. Little Half Two Boy. How, how about Little Frame? Or, no, Small Frame. You're giving me the exact opposite of what I'm asking you. Something that sounds big. Karen, what do you got? How about micro four thirds? The, the micro, it sounds small, but it, it's emphasizing the big four and then the smaller three. It's like, oh, we're small, but ooh. It's perfect. So after the great micro four thirds debacle, we moved on to another logical one, the 1.5 inch sensor that only Canon has ever utilized. It sounds like pretty awesome, but it's not. And then the game was changed forever. That no longer do we have numbers, just APS-C. APS fucking C. You know what that stands for? A piece of shit. A pony sized coffee. A panda scaring cat sensor. A porridge so cold. And nobody would want that. And why did APSH die? That's the best one. Canon, even when they make something good, they're like, oh, no, that's too good. Let's abandon that. Let's do a one point. What's everybody doing? 1.5 crop? Let's go 1.6. We're so good at this business stuff. How do we do it? They're actually leading the market in every category. And that brings us to the biggest sensor size known to mankind in today's current day. Full frame. Doesn't get bigger than that. It's full. The frame's full. 
you can't you topped it out it's the full it's the whole thing you got it there's nothing else look at the picture you see another one no you don't it's full frame in my opinion they finally got it right just full frame it's the whole fucking thing now there is a myth out there suggesting that there are bigger sensors but that's like Bigfoot better left undiscovered in my opinion so we're done what do you think the dumbest names ever one over how do you do it if somebody knows how to calculate this bullshit tell me down below what does it mean I don't get it so maybe I'm dumb but you don't have to be smart to be happy in here or in here so affiliate links for sensors down below and thanks for watching the video thumbs up if you liked it subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one